We are joined by Edgar Hopita. He is with um, CARE here in San Diego. And you have brought in with you a copy of the Quran to talk a little bit about why this is so offensive to so many people. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. First of all, tell us about the Quran, a little bit more about it and why people are so upset about it. Uh, well, the Quran is the Muslim holy book. We believe it to be the Word of God. And so we feel that this action done by this pastor in Florida is very offensive and it doesn't show any kind of religious tolerance whatsoever. Now, he says he's doing this because he wants to get a message out to radical Islam. You know, it's, it's a free country. He has a right to do it. Uh, what's wrong with him doing what he thinks is right to do in this country? I think the problem is, is that the same book that the radicals unfortunately use as their source for religion is what 1.5 billion Muslims use as their holy book. So I think it sends a wrong message to the Muslims around the world and in the United States that um, to burn a Quran because of radicals. You know, I can understand if you burn an effigy of Osama bin Laden or the Taliban or Al Qaeda, but for someone to burn a book that's held sacred by 1.5 billion Muslims around the world is very problematic. Now here in the United States, you know, we may be understanding because we understand about our rights here. Mm -hmm. But when you go overseas and you start talking about um, elements overseas, this could have terrible repercussions. Yeah, unfortunately, this is basically a recruiting poster for these radicals to harm more Americans. The, right now, their mantra is, uh, kill all Americans, and they see this, look, you see, the American Christians want to burn our holy book, we should fight all these Americans and kill them. And it sends a wrong message to the Muslims overseas. And I heard you compare this act to acts in Nazi Germany. How so? Um, historically, book burning has always been done by extremists. The Nazis in Germany have burned Torahs and Jewish scriptures. And look what it led to. It led to the horrific genocide known as the Holocaust. So I think this is a very problematic um, activity. And I think American Muslims and Americans in general see this as a problematic activity. And that's why they've uh, condemned it. And you want to get a message out from the Muslim community about the meaning of this book, this holy book, and about what's happening here. Well, the meaning uh, that we want to convey in the Quran is that we don't combat evil with evil, but with good. And so what we've done is do educational projects, uh, work with interfaith, and actually we are offering this Quran for free uh, uh, to our Explore the Quran project which we passed out over 30,000 so far across the nation, and we hope to pass out more so that people can know about this holy book. All right. Um, you, you've heard a lot lately, a lot of backlash because mm -hmm. of 9-11, because mm -hmm. of what happened. What's your reaction to, to the reaction from military leaders here mm -hmm. in the U.S. and also interfaith leaders to well, this particular incident? Well, it's clear that military leaders, politicians, and interfaith leaders are very upset about this activity. It, it damages our image in, uh, all over the world, and um, all of them are pretty much unanimous in condemning this. Even the National Council of Evangelical Churches, which is uh, part of the umbrella group that this church belongs to, condemned uh, this activity. And as far as the media, are we fueling this fire? What's well, our responsibility? Well, I think this? the media um, has a responsibility to show, show this, but also show the, uh, the opposing views, showing that this is an isolated case that not all American Christians uh, believe this and that we are against this and we're protesting this. All right. Edgar Hopita with CARE. Thank you so much for coming in.